If you're new here, my name is Gabriella Pashan, but since you clicked on my video, we're cool now, so you can call me Bella. Today's video is gonna be a day in my life as a car girl, so basically just me taking you guys along for a work day in my life, and I'm so excited, but I'm actually a little bit stressed out right now. <laughs> so I just ordered breakfast at Chick-fil-A, and then I reached down to like scratch my leg, my calf area, and I'm like, oh, forgot to shave baby it's long it's long like I could braid it right now anyways come with me to pick up my order from chick-fil-a first and then we will worry about shaving my legs oh my gosh that's so embarrassing I made it to Walgreens hopefully this is super quick in and out I hate being dressed like this out of Walgreens though that's so embarrassing seriously that was unsuccessful. I'm sure they have razors. I just didn't have time to browse the whole store to look for it. So um, I was like, you know what? These people that I work with, they don't care about some leg hair, so I'll be fine. Also, like I don't have enough time to buy a razor right now and shave both my legs. Absolutely not. So anyway, we are just headed to work now. I made it to work and I ate my breakfast burrito as you guys saw. Now I'm headed to go pick up the cart so I could start stocking it up. Uh, this is the most tedious part, I think, walking all the way to the barn. But that honestly is the only downside of the job. The live, laugh, love cart girls. This is my workout. I do this once a week, maybe even twice, like if I get lucky, but uh, geez, that's all I have to say about this part. Not fun. <laughs> but once you get them all stacked out here, you just put them one by one in your little drawers, and that part is not bad at all. So a little backstory about today. It was where it is, unfortunately, a kids tournament again. Y'all remember that last Sunday? I actually, I think I was wearing the same exact outfit. It's this outfit, guys, I'm cursed. It's a little bit unfortunate, like for sales and tips wise, but I think that's why like it would be a perfect day to vlog and that's on period. So the kids tournament takes place in the morning. I think the kids tournament ends at around like one, maybe noon-ish. So um, just like free play, the regular crowd, the crowd that gives me money, they're gonna be coming in at around like two-ish so I'm gonna have three good hours <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna load up with all the generic beer because that's mainly what sells out here I forgot to take my allergy pill ah, let me go do that because I'm gonna die if I don't take it yes this is my co-worker Vera guys she's like, shutting like, up back there Yup. <laughs> so apparently this tournament thing is to like three. I'm like, okay, we need to change the game plan because my game plan is usually to have like a few of every beer. Also, I'm so sorry. That's like all I'm talking about right now, but that's literally the job, guys. Get comfortable with it. So I think I'm just going to stick with the three generic beer, the Michelob Ultras, the Millers, and the Coors, because that is what I assume will definitely sell because these are parents that are going to be buying from you the whole day let's be honest and then i think for the rest of the drawers i'm just going to do gatorade water sodas uh teas <laughs> red bull i don't even know but um hopefully it will all work out i'm a little bit nervous because i was helping out at the front desk as you all saw vera was cooking but before i shoved the camera in her face i was like helping her check out some people of course like i'm making small talk that's part of the job if y'all are interested in being a car girl you need to make small talk so i'm over there and i'm like oh are y'all part of the tournament they're like yeah and i'm like oh well how's it going because i assume that they all got here at one time and they're all gonna finish at one time and the kid was like Oh, I just got here. I was like, oh, so this is like an all day thing. So, uh, that's lovely. Let's get back to it. I decided to also take out some seltzers. So I'm just bringing out two flavors of White Claw. Just so that they have more of an option rather than just like straight up beer. And then I also brought out some shots. That's what's in these little baggies, just in case. And that is it for the alcohol, I think. Now let's get the main stuff. Just give me a second and I will update you guys once I'm out on the course. Ah, 
we are officially out on the course. Guys, I have faith in today. I'm like starting to worry because I'm seeing adults out here and I'm like, oh, did I pack enough uh, alcohol? I don't know, I'm a bit worried. Anyways, do I record interactions with my customers? I'm like scared to do that. I don't know if I'm at that level. <laughs> Cute or whatever. Waiting for someone to tee off. Ooh, they kind of hit it in my direction, low key. This is always like the scariest part of the job. Like you could definitely get hit with a ball. This is really like a waiting game, honestly. So just sitting here. Anywho, took some fire selfies. Here they are uh, while I was waiting. <laughs> I feel like I should update you guys. It has been kind of a long morning. I barely did my first lap, so that means I went on the back nine and then I went on the front nine. The back nine, I think I mentioned to y'all how I was like, oh my gosh, like did I pack enough like alcoholic beverages because there's like adults out here. Okay, well that only lasted for two groups and everybody after them was a child with their parents. So um, I'm feeling a lot better about the decision I made to like barely pack any adult beverages and just want to pat myself on the back for that because that was a good call on my end. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to eat some peanuts. That's what I brought for lunch and yeah, bye. So I just had a sale not too long ago and you know, this is a kids tournament that I'm working currently. Free play is about to be here soon, but um, this kid comes up to me, waves me down and he's like, can I get a Gatorade? Gatorade over here is like $3.50. I was fully not expecting a tip. He whips out a $5 tip. Hold on because who are your parents? I just want to tell them they did a great job raising you. Oh my gosh, guys, today is looking up. What happened that was so monumental was I was driving past the range. There was this guy there and he had come up to me and my friend when I was taking that little lunch break and gosh, she's just super talkative. And he pulled me over to the side and he's just like having this long twisted conversation with me and all I'm doing is <laughs> Mm. You know, like, <laughs> I'm just listening and stuff. Girl, he tipped me heavy. And then at the end, he gave me a 20. He goes, enjoy yourself. Yes, sir, I think I will. Oh, dear God, why am I rich? Eh. This job will make you money so long as you small talk. That's literally the first thing I told you guys today. You remember? <laughs> My day at work is officially over. It was over at 5.30, but you know, I've been yapping it up with my co-workies. Here is the favorite co-workie, Adi. Yeah. <laughs> this is Adam, this is my boyfriend. He's the one that got me the job here. Hashtag best BF ever. Yeah, I actually get 50% of the profits. Jacob. Yeah, today was a really good day to vlog. <laughs> it wasn't like busy enough for me to make like two three hundred dollars That would be a typical weekend cart girl day in my life This was obviously a lot slower because there was a kids tournament so boo that but I did make at least a hundred dollars So that's fine. Anyway, um, thank you so much for tuning into my video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you were looking into being a cart girl I hope this helped you out. Hopefully like you do it because honestly best job I've ever had besides like all the heavy lifting but that's like literally not even a downside. Get some upper body strength. Look at that. <laughs> and you, thank you again for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.